Hi, I just want to show you this book. It's kind of an interesting book. It's called Essential Computer Mathematics, and it's got different types of math, not your typical math book. Let's go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you some of the math in here. It's by Seymour Lipschitz. Theory and Problems of Essential Computer Mathematics. Pretty cool. And let me just show you the topics that you get uh, in this book. It's very different from a lot of the books, but you're gonna see that some of the topics are common. For example, binary number system, that's something you would study in a discrete math class or perhaps in a computer science class. Computer codes, computer arithmetic, logic and truth tables. That's something that you would study in discrete math or in a proof writing class if you are a math major. So math that you see in various courses, algorithms, flowcharts, and pseudocode programs, sets and relations, Boolean algebra and logic gates and simplification of logic circuits, vectors, matrices, and subscripted variables. So you have some linear algebra in here. It's kind of cool. Linear equations, combinatorial analysis, some probability, and some statistics, which is really cool. So you get all kinds of math uh, in a, books like, a book like this. And there's a little bit more. Graphs, directed graphs, and machines. So a lot of the topics that you see in this book uh, would show up in college courses such as discrete math or uh, you know proof writing courses. You could use this for self-study or just for a source of problems and just for the sake of learning. The way these shams works are basically you have some knowledge, it teaches you some stuff, it has definitions and examples, and then you get to um, answers, uh, exercises with answers. So you get more examples and then you get exercises with answers and then typically you get uh, more exercises. So here you see, here are those exercises with answers. They call them solve problems. And they basically go through and they solve a bunch of problems. And you see how it has like a heading here, decimal system. So you can go back and you can say, oh, hey, I know what that's about. That's from that little subsection. So you basically work through it like that. Turn the page so you can see some more here. So you can get a good idea of the layout of this book. And then you see here binary system, there's another heading. So you go back to the section where it says binary, system and then you can read that and do these exercises. And then this one should have uh, additional exercise. Yeah, here we go. Here's some additional ones, supplementary problems. So you get a bunch more exercises, which is really nice. And then, then you get answers to the supplementary problems. So you have knowledge, so like definitions, examples, theory. Then you have and examples, right, and examples. Then you have solved problems. And then you have supplementary exercises with answers. So it really, really reinforces your learning, and that's the format throughout the book. Again, this is the Shams Outline of Essential Computer Mathematics. I think this is the fun book that you can get to learn some fun math. Good luck.